Today we are float camping, which is just like regular camping, except today, well, we're, we're floating. At least we hope to continue floating. If you look out here, I'm in the middle of all these lily pads. It's so freaking cool. I guess it's a good time to tell you the premise of us being out here. We're gonna hop on the jet boat and try to catch just one fish. Could be a bluegill, could be a bass, could be whatever, because we've got a banging recipe that we're gonna do. Now, when it gets dark, that is when the magic happens, ladies and gentlemen. We have the bow fishing setups. We've got all the lights on the jet boat and it is gonna be so freaking cool. We're gonna cruise around. We're actually gonna snipe some tilapia or we're gonna snipe some gar. And then we're going to chop them up and put them on our catfish noodle hooks. So I got two different floating platforms, the one we're on right now and that one. This one is eight by 10 which basically means it's 80 square feet. Now, if you know anything about square footage, that's not that much room. And the one where our bedroom is on, that's actually a 10 by 10, so it's 100 square feet. So today we're camping on a plot of 180 square foot. And what kind of hospitality would I have if I didn't give you guys a formal tour? So, you guys can see my front yard is full of lily pads. My side and backyard is full of lily pads. So let's go ahead and start off on the platform we're on now, which we are declaring our catch and cook and recreational station. So we've got the Yeti chair set up for nice long cast into the lily pads, hopefully to catch something. We've got our cooler slap full of a lot of catch and cook goodness. We've got our drone for epic shots. We've got our propane stove right here, which hopefully we can do a really good recipe on. We've got this little survival box right here. Now this isn't a survival video, but I bought this thing on Amazon like two years ago and I thought it might have some useful stuff while we're out here. So again, this is just camping, catching and cooking and doing really cool stuff. But I figured we're gonna be out here for a while. So maybe just bring the survival kit and go through it and try to use some stuff. We've got the filet knives as well as more catch and cook items like pots, pans, uh, some grease for those crispy fillets. And that does it for room number one, which brings us to room number two. Now, I know you guys probably have some questions about the bedroom situation, because here on my channel, we normally struggle bust it pretty hard. I typically would just bring a blanket and a pillow and just kind of have a miserable night's sleep. But thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Helix, we are gonna be sleeping on a comfortable queen size mattress that believe it or not, is inside this very box. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. Everybody's different and Helix knows that, so they made a sleep quiz to help find the perfect mattress for you based on your body type, preferences, etc. Personally, I'm a back and side sleeper and based on my results, I got the Midnight Queen Soft. It's almost like the bed is cuddling me back. I know it sounds a little strange, but you just gotta hear me out. The best part about all this is Helix delivers your mattress straight to your door with free shipping in the US. The mattress comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up yourself. So easy that we were even able to put it in a tent floating on the water. Oh boy, there it goes. Okay, okay, it's happening. Very quickly, very quickly it's happening. Oh boy, oh boy. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared, wrong way. I got this is a lot easier in a bedroom, by the way. I am a, I'm just in a tent, so it's a little more difficult. So yeah, I get it. It might make you a little bit nervous to buy something you haven't got to try yet, but hear me out. Helix has a 100 night sleep trial, so you guys get more than three months to try out your bed to make sure that you'll love it. And if you don't, no worries. They'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. Bro, this is game changer for us right here. Are you kidding me, dude? Helix mattresses have a 10 year warranty. They also have financing options and flexible payment plans. So a great night's sleep is never far away. I love my Helix and I think you would too. So if you guys are in the market for a new mattress, make sure to check out Helix. You can go to the link in the description below. Go to helixsleep.com slash jiggin. It's gonna save you $200 off your mattress plus two free pillows. Helix, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. And thank you for a beautiful night's rest tonight on the water. And <laughs> one thing we kind of messed up on here is these are bungee cords. So this is like very stretchy and your boy does the splits. That was real, that was not fake, I almost fell. I set this up to where we could have a little bit of room to walk around and I have never filled this up with air before. And this could be a hazard uh, because if there is a hole in this and I sink slowly, then I will be zipped up here in my tent, which 
could be super sketch. So I'm gonna sleep with a knife just in case like something pops or something happens and I have to like cut my way out of the tent. Very dangerous, but don't worry, I thought about it. Travis, I find it pretty disrespectful. You would just fish in my front yard without asking for permission. I'm low key gonna turn into a straight Karen on you right now, but let's go ahead and hop on the jet boat, try to get a fish for our first dinner out here floating on the water. Okay. Some frogs to move, man. Yes? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Get him in! Get him in, Travis! That's that's dinner! That's dinner, baby! That's perfect size! Flip him! Flip him! Flip him! Yeah! Dude! This guy's got a new name. Uncle Buck's breakfast. Well, dinner. Dude, how about that? With the old worm, we were just being stubborn. Dude, give me some. That's freaking sick, son. Well, thanks to Travis, our little bass is in there. Perfect size for our meal. Well, he's gonna be getting filet. It's a bass, but hey, um, I think it'll be interesting to see how it tastes. And then we've got some groceries in here. Oil, ranch, we got some shredded lettuce. I'm not really a big fan of shredded lettuce, but uh, you know, whatever. It's more like McDonald's, Wendy's style. But I couldn't find good fresh lettuce, so I just went with that. We've got some potato rolls. That's the only way to do these sandwiches. And we've got some Frank's Red Hot, which is gonna be our marinade and best for last. You guys saw this on the last catch and cook we did in Miami, and we just guessed. I just threw a dart at the wall. I happened to be at Bass Pro, but I got this Uncle Buck's fish batter, hot and spicy. If you guys ever get this, get it at Bass Pro. The hot and spicy one is the one to get. I respect you. Thank you for your food and your contribution. Oh, no, 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 buddy. YouTube doesn't really like this part, so I'm not gonna show cleaning the whole thing, but uh, I'll show you the nice fillets when we're done. It's an absolutely beautiful fillet. Wow, that is nice, man. Frank's Red Hot Fish. And then go ahead and toss that into the Uncle Buck's batter. And then just shake it up in there. Woo! Finally! Got us a nice meal, thanks to the baby bass. And uh, we got the Uncle Buck special. Our entree here, we've got ranch on both sides of the bun. We've got our pieces of fish coated in that like nice hot and spicy batter. And then we've got some rabbit food with the shredded lettuce. Mm. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. I'm just gonna sit right here in my Yeti chair and wait for the sun to go down. Do a little bit of fishing. Bed's looking nice and comfy back there. See if we can make some magic happen. What do you think, Trev? Nothing to it, but to do it, baby. Dude, this would be the most epic way to catch a monster bass. Dude, I can't believe how many bluegill I hear right now. All right, boys, that is a wrap on that. The old frog didn't get it done for us there at the last minute. I wanted to catch one on a platform. It would have been so sick, but uh, my feet are just where I'm getting demolished by mosquitoes. So this bag right here actually has some goods in it. I haven't showed you guys yet. We've got this blanket right here, and we actually have another one of the same thing for the bed. Let's try to make the journey without falling, baby. There it goes. Oh God. Ugh. Put that there. Get this baby unzipped. We gotta hurry so, gotta hurry so no mosquitoes get in here. Ugh. Ugh. Can't tell you how cool that view right there is, man. I think one blanket will be fine for now. Dude, this is so epic. I, uh, I could really get used to this, man. This view is gonna be so sick. 
as long as there's no like red eyes that I see in the night or anything like that. But um, as you guys can tell, it's getting pretty dark. This camera actually does really well with the the light, so it's actually a lot darker than it appears right now. You guys can, can probably see pretty well, but it is dark, and it's probably gonna be pitch black within 30 minutes to an hour, so. I'm just gonna lay on the bed right here and probably just get on my phone, watch some YouTube videos, and then I've got a, in one of my bags over here, I've got some nice mosquito proof clothes. I'm looking forward to this next part, but uh, anyway, we're gonna wait it out and I'll see you guys when we turn on the lights for bow fishing. <laughs> All right guys, this is the part I'm most excited about. It's a bow fishing time. There's actually not a ton of bugs. I don't wanna to speak too soon, but I thought we were gonna get just ravaged by bugs. We're gonna hit the reeds, the lily pads, all the stuff you guys saw us fishing earlier. We're gonna hit that and try to smoke a gar. Maybe two, I don't know. If there's a bunch, we'll get two. If there's not, we'll just get one and then cut them up and put them on noodles. So we're trying to turn our nasty gar into a delicious catfish by the morning. Oh, there goes gar to the right. Good one. Oh, just to the right of him. Here we go, Gar. Come on, come on. Be in there. I mean, what is... Give me my arrow back, you drive a gun. Oh, little baby Gar. Oh my gosh, dude, he swerved it. Oh my God, baby. Baby, 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 under it. I got him, 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 Bowerball down. I got him, brother. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought, uh, I thought I might have failed the mission, but check this out. Got this little guy and stoned him. Just perfect headshot. That's what happens when you missed 30 previous. You know, God blesses you with a good one. And it was a headshot, which is perfect the fish is uh out immediately so super um ethical and now we're gonna take her to the old float camp chunk her up hop on the jet boat drop some noodles dude it looks so cool man it's just like that's the ultimate water nomad setup right there like just kind of vibing doing your thing imagine the people that come out tonight and just happen to see that so freaking cool it's so peaceful too that's the thing i love about it like i don't know super cool dude i don't know if you guys can see it but check out the teeth on that bad boy <laughs> are you serious are you, are you serious? Did that just happen? Did that just happen? Did that just happen, Travis? Yeah. <laughs> what? Really? Wow, that thing just... I wouldn't be surprised if it starts swimming away. That's the most indestructible fish I'd ever mess with in my life. All right, guys, we made an executive decision. We're going to throw one noodle it's got four hooks on it, which is about all we got. We've got this uh, <laughs> this lily pad with, it's like the ultimate catfish charcuterie board, dude. This thing is disgusting. <laughs> it's got digested bluegill. It's got gar trails. It's got gar fins. It's nasty. First up, we got entrails. Second up, I don't really know. <laughs> We've got some breast of the fish and some fish tail extravaganza. We also have that digested bluegill, but it just ain't gonna work. We also have the uh, live scope here and we're on perfectly on a grass edge. So this is why I figured we just load one up. We're in a really good spot. Load it up, get a lot of scent here. This stuff stinks so bad. So I think we drop everything right here and hopefully wake up in the morning and one of, I mean, dude, we should have, if a catfish is even in this lake, it's gonna eat this thing. There it goes. And it's on the bottom. That's perfect. That's perfect, dude. 
And then you know what? We're gonna go ahead and throw our digested bluegill and our lily pad overboard. Chum them up even more, give them a little free meal. So you guys can see this line that goes straight down. That's the grass edge we were talking about. That is the line of our bait. That's The noodle is right there in front of us. So I'm telling you, we're in a good spot, man. Those catfish are gonna be cruising those grass lines looking for dead shad that got blown up today. The, the, the shad population is absurd right now. We saw so many shad, but uh, I feel really good about that. Oh, we might have bluegill on our stuff right now. All right, Trav, it's time for me to say peace. I got to uh, make my way to my bedroom for the night. So we've got the little patio set up here. Might get a little water before I go to bed. And then uh, Trav's going to go drive, get on the trailer. He's going to go get some nice proper rest. And me, I'm going in here. No bugs, no bugs. All right, let me zip all this up. Trav? Trav? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, bro. I'll call you in the morning, bright and early. And uh, yeah, bro, make it home safe. Text me. I got good signal. Matter of fact, I'm going to be watching YouTube and probably a little bit of Netflix. A little warm in here. Open that baby up. Oh, wow. You can't see out of there. <laughs> And then this is my favorite window back here. This one opens up all the way. So I'll get a nice breeze. Wow, you really can't see out of the screens. I guess you gotta move way back, but a little light over there. And uh, it's crazy because the water is actually right there. And I got my pillows. These are nice and fluffed up now that we've waited for a bit. So these are super comfortable. And uh, it's kind of, you know, it's Florida, so I don't really need too much of a blanket, so. I don't know, I'm probably probably gonna strip down off camera, <laughs> just kinda <laughs> lay here with maybe a blanket on me. So I've got a got a perfect little wind tunnel here though. It's coming from this way by my feet and blowing out this window right here. So it's really freaking nice. And then I also have some screen on the side here on both sides. So I think it's gonna be good. I think I'm gonna sleep really good. And uh, this mattress, I'm telling you guys, I'm not exaggerating. This is not because I partnered with Helix, but this bed is freaking comfortable. Like I've slept in this tent a lot of times on a lot of different stuff, and this bed is extremely comfortable. So uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. But um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this is so cool. It's like the life of luxury, but uh, also just super chill in a tent. So. That's pretty much it. That's my tent tour for you guys. Still got all the fresh wrap here, but uh, yeah, check it out. This is my setup for the night. So I'm gonna get some rest and I will catch you guys bright and early in the morning. Good morning, brother cousins. <laughs> Dude, we gotta I think the sunrise is gonna happen right here behind us. And uh, the boy slept like a baby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, it's just something about, like, it was cool sleeping out here last night. I mean, these kept bumping, so, I don't know, I just had to keep feeling like a little jolt every now and then, but it almost felt like it was rocking me to sleep, but there's something about waking up and then just being on the water. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of trippy. It's pretty cool. <sighs> We got the soft frog or the hollow body. Let's say we rock the hollow body for a little bit. What do you boys think? Well, slept like a baby. But uh, didn't catch anything this morning, so we gotta check our noodle. There's the noodle, brother. Well, she's not hopping around now that we're close. We had a fish. 
We had, brother, we had a fish right there. We, we just, we literally just had a fish. Did you see me like, I don't know why I tried to set the hook on him. Dude, <laughs> that was so great. I mean, that was perfect. That was like textbook. Wow, bro, how did that break? Like the, the leader part broke off. That sucks we lost the fish, but like at the same time, I'm just like stoked we had one. I've set out noodles multiple times, and I think that's the deal is just right on that grass line and just nasty gar, unfortunately. I might have to get a chainsaw to chop up the next one. If you guys wanna see a noodle video where, you know, we bow fish and then, you know, that night set out noodles, then uh, let me know in the comment section below. But that's the deal, man. That's, dang, that sucks. Imagine if we had plenty of bait with more noodles, we'd be like bound to get one for sure then. Well, I mean, good news is we don't have to deal with any nasty gar, so. That's that. Ladies and gentlemen, what an awesome float camping experience. I had so much fun. We got out here, we got to catch a fish, cook a fish, even though that meal, I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't, it wasn't the best. But the experience here was so freaking cool and uh, I definitely wanna do something like this again. I wish, man, if that catfish didn't break off, we'd be going through catfish right now. I had a lot of fun with the, uh, bow fishing at night though too i don't know i loved i loved everything we did i felt like we kind of dabbled all around so if you guys want to see another video like this drop a comment below of where we should go next i think that this is like a tried and true setup something we can pump up on the go and uh could be really cool so if you guys want to see this maybe out in the ocean or in the Everglades or just somewhere really cool. Let me know in the comment section below where you want to see it and we'll make it happen for you guys. With that being said, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and also Helix, thank you for sponsoring today's video. Um, I really did sleep quite well. Honestly, the best I probably ever slept in a tent. All right, I love you guys. I will catch you on the next adventure. Peace out.